Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how you can very inexpensively add a voltage gauge to your vehicle if you have one of the newer ones that does not have a voltage gauge on the cluster panel. So let's go ahead and get started. Now on a lot of newer vehicles, you don't have it on your, your gauge cluster. On older vehicles, as shown here, You'll see right there, it has the battery symbol, but you have your voltage ranging between nine and 19 volts. You wanna be within that white, the give or take of 14 volts, but if we start the vehicle here, you'll see it start to go up, which is what it should do. Now the cool thing with this is you can clearly see that gauge moving as your charging system is functioning properly. This is an older vehicle as well. You can see this one has the voltage gauge right here as well as some of the other gauges that you don't get on the newer vehicles like with the oil oil pressure and your temperature your water temperature you can see it's starting to move up now because the vehicle hasn't been started the battery light is still on because the charging system isn't functioning properly but as we start it Battery light goes out, and you can see the voltage up to the 14, a little bit above 14 as it's supposed to be. Now, on the newer ones, they have all of these dummy lights, things like that. So what you'll have is you'll have the battery light that'll come on if your charging system is having an issue in the event like your alternator is failing or something with the, with the charge of the battery. You'll have the little battery indicating light that'll come on and take a look. This one, we have our tachometer, our speedometer, and then we have our fuel level, and that's it. Everything else is shown by the dummy lights, and I'll show you here the battery light we're talking about. That light right there is the battery light. That's the only thing that will come on on the newer cars when your charging system has fallen below a certain voltage. At that point, you're already starting to fail. Now, the only problem with that is that if you're driving, you see that battery light come on, you're already in a situation where you probably need to pull over or run the risk of trying to drive strictly on the battery if the alternator has failed and then run the risk of stalling out. If you had the older vehicles that had the volt, the, uh, the voltage gauge or voltmeter, whatever you want to call it, that was better because you could clearly see if you're dropping below 14 or a little over 14 volts, you could see if something was wrong or you could see the, the function of the alternator. You know, when the, when the alternator fully charges the battery, you'll kind of see the gauge fluctuate up and down, things like that. But you would see it starting to fault out before that battery light would come on and that would give you a chance to get it fixed without leaving you stranded. So what I found is this little guy right here. You can pick these up online very easy. It just plugs into your little your little cigarette lighter or your 12 volt uh, port on your vehicle. Some of them like this one here has some USB inputs as well, but it also has your little voltage gauge on there so you can track the voltage. I like this because when I'm dealing with some of my newer cars that don't have it, I can put that on there and I can track the voltage and make sure everything's functioning properly. But I'll have some links down, down in the description. If you want to purchase one of these, you can get them. They're just a couple box, quick and easy thing. I'm going to plug it in here. We're going to take it for a drive and I'll show you how it works. It's very simple and it allows you to now have your hand on the pulse for your charging system. We can plug it into either one. So we'll flip this up and take it, push it all the way in. And now if I put the key in, we should start to get a reading on the voltage. And as you can see right there, it's showing 11.9. Now I noticed with this particular one, it's off by about four volts, lower than what's actually being read off of the charging system when I use my actual multimeter to set the voltage. So this should be around maybe 12.3, 12.4. Let's start it. And you can see the voltage going up as the alternator is doing its thing to charge the battery. And this is one of the things I like about these things here, because normally you wouldn't see that. Your gauge cluster would have no lights on until the charging system was failing, then you see the battery light come on. But here I can clearly see that the alternator is functioning properly. We're at 13.8, like I said, if you add the 0.4, you're about 14.2, 14.3-ish in that range, right on point to where it should be if the alternator is functioning properly and charging the battery. And then as you're driving along, you'll see once the battery gets 
fully charged, it'll drop back down into the 12s again, because obviously you don't want the alternator charging it constantly, only when it needs to charge. But let's take it for a spin so you can see how it functions. All right, so we just got back, and as you saw, the, the, the voltage moved a little bit. It was like around a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 volts. That was it. If we would have taken a longer drive, once the charging system would have been done recharging the battery, you would see it drop down to maybe the 12.4, 12.5, 12.6 range, bounce back up as the battery needed to be recharged, all that. And you could check it out normally on a voltage gauge. Since we don't have it, now you can see it on that. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of why I decided to add this to this vehicle. This particular one does not have a voltage gauge, as we already talked about. And I had an issue with a faulty alternator. If you want to see the videos that I did pertaining to testing alternators, diagnosing a faulty alternator, testing drop voltage, all that stuff, or voltage drop, I'll have the links down in the description. You can check those out. I also have one across the top. But what had happened, I was driving. I was on a country road far from my house. Nowhere really to pull over. Saw the battery light go off knew that there was an issue possibly with the alternator at that point. Usually you can get maybe about 100 miles or so out of the battery if you have a healthy battery when the alternator goes. So I was like, there's nowhere to pull over. I'm just going to see if I can make it back home. Unfortunately, didn't. Had some of the other lights start to quirk out. The vehicle just started whacking out, stalled out, and I just had to pull over where I could get the vehicle towed. It was at that point I was like, you know what, let me just throw one of these in here because I can check the voltage periodically as I'm driving, and if I see anything that doesn't look right, I can address it before it leaves me stranded. That was the whole reason why I got this. So that wraps up this video on how to add an inexpensive voltage gauge to your vehicle. Um, I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it uh, helped you out with maybe anything that you're working on. Um, please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.